we discuss right now about troubleshooting for induction sensors. Induction sensors is used for electronic engines, for exhaust valve position, tanger, fuel tanger position, and FIBA position. Okay, this video is intended for simulation and troubleshooting. After this one, you determine if the sensor is defective and you can replace with a new one. This is the induction sensor A646622 Sinaco. By the way, our main engine is electronic MAN BNW MEC. Inductor sensor maker Sinaco. And then this is the terminal. Terminal wires 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a 4 wires. These 4 wires we need to simulate. Because we have a problem we already replaced and then this is how to simulate this induction sensor so that we know if this induction, induction sensor is working or not right now we are here in electrical workshop to simulate this induction sensor we need 24 volts DC Actually, the wire has, it has a number. Number one is positive. Then number two is negative. One and two is the power supply. And three and four is the output. Output is four to twenty milliamps. This three and four, we need to connect our multimeter. Three is the positive and four is negative. This is our multimeter. Fluke 177. We put at milliamps. Milliamps mode. So that we can read the output for this induction sensor. We connect this output for induction sensor so that we can we can read if this sensor is giving us correct output previously we we have a problem about this but we already throw that one even if we have a supply but there is no output means defective this is new spare and we need to simulate this one this is simulation so that we already know how to simulate this induction sensor 1 and 2, 1 is the positive, 2 is negative, and using multimeter, the current mode so that we, we know what is the output, 3 and 4, 3 is the positive, 4 is negative, okay, that is the connection, going to the multimeter, there is no object detected, if the plunger hits the certain distance for this induction meter, 20 milliamps is the maximum, and the minimum is 4 milliamps. 4 milliamps is actually heating the sensor. This one. It means this sensor is good. For, for reference only, I have this tape measure. This is, this is a, what you call this, uh, a sample so that we, we know what is the distance not accurate but specific distance almost a 10 10 millimeter right now 4 milliamps hitting hitting the tip of the induction sensor and starting to raise up 8 9 in the middle is 8 15 16 milliamps 20 milliamps 20 milliamps is almost a 10 millimeter starting going down until it hits the sensor that is 4 milliamps okay maximum 4 milliamps uh, sorry 20 milliamps and then minimum is 4 milliamps that's it I have here the induction sensor part number P9083 The difference about the 
exhaust valve and the plunger position induction sensor is the length of the the length of the sensor but the terminals is almost the same this is a new spare the terminal tagging is almost the same first one again one is positive two is negative negative 24 three and four you need to connect to the multimeter three is the plus and then four is the minus negative right now we know how to simulate this one and we know how to determine if the sensor is good or bad okay just simulate it we are here in MOP okay. this is the view of troubleshooting under maintenance under maintenance troubleshooting and then you can see exhaust valve position right, right now it's running mode our engine is running mode this is the reading for our number one cylinder number two you can choose number two number three number four until six we have six cylinder in this view you can check the check the current current output for each position and stroke it's equivalent stroke for plunger position exhaust valve position FIBA position note we are we are running our main engine right now we have here main engine stop then this is the parameters for the exhaust valve plunger position and FIBA position number four number five number six you can choose also the plunger position exhaust valve position for testing and PC mode testing you can simulate this plunger position by clicking the MPC mode to test mode and then plunger inject and return exhaust open and close or cyclic test main engine STX man BMW engine type 6S50 MEC dash C model 6S50 ME dash C 8.2 7310 kilowatt at 115 rpm Day 2016 Weight 2210 kg Thanks for watching and hope you know how to determine whether the sensor is defective or not You know how to simulate Terminal 1 is positive Number 2 is negative That is 24 volts and the output is 3 and 4 3 is positive and negative probe for the number 4 Okay I hope you learn from it If you learned from this video, click like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. And follow us on Facebook, Barco TV. Thank you very much.